Welcome to WRC 19, the World Radio Communication Conference here in Sharm el-Sheikh in Egypt, where I'm very pleased to be joined in the studio state by Khalid Bakhir, who is the uh, CEO of ArabSat and also the chair of ASEA. Welcome to the studio. Thank you. Thanks for this opportunity. Now, Khalid, I'd like to start off by just asking you a little bit about uh, this conference, your, your, your presence here. Why, why is WRC 19 an important event in, in your calendar? Well, WRC is a, an event every four years for the ITU and all the decision makers and regulators who distribute the frequency among all kind of telecommunication uh, are here and they make uh, very important decisions on spectrum allocations and we are in the, in the satellite industry. We care about these decisions and, and discussions, of course, for our spectrum, for our assets that we launch uh, in, in space that will last for like 15 to 20 years. And we do care about our investment and where does it go to these spectrum allocations. And we take part of those discussions and we reflect our industry point of view on, on those allocations. And there is a big, of course, these are natural resources and they are like uh, scarce uh, to, to, to the telecom industry. And we want to take part of that and make, uh, you know, make sure that we are not affected by those decisions. Uh, when they make uh, the discussions on. Now you're CEO of Arabsat, you're also chair of ASOA. ASOA have got a, a stand here in the exhibition part of, uh, of WRC19. How's that going for you? Well, actually the stand is under the uh, Global uh, Satellite Coalition, GSC, and that's where we care about connectivity in the whole world. And we, we as, as if we can say, represent those industry people, uh, that uh, care about the societies and let's make sure that almost 49 or 50 percent of the people are not connected so uh, because of lack of infrastructure on the ground so the space or satellites are the means of, of get those, getting those people connected and make sure that we care about the you know the, the social health education uh, it's not only for entertainment and uh, people have to make sure that the rest of the world is still there yet to be connected. And we want to make sure that uh, the Global Satellite Coalition, our message is there to get those people connected. And we want to make sure that we have the means, whether it's satellites or spectrum, uh, to make sure that we can make it available. And as, as I said, WRC is the spectrum arena for the whole discussion in, in this uh, sense. And what do you hope will be the outcomes from this conference? Well, people feel that, that we are in competition between satellites and IMT, uh, uh, terrestrial networks. However, uh, we, we believe that it's all complementary. We deliver the same message. We connect people together. So uh, the, the notion about 5G, IMT, spectrum, allocations, fighting with satellite, it's not going to work unless we both deliver the same message and we get both the same connectivity to people. And, and we can live in harmony. Uh, there are issues in, in the agenda, uh, talk about spectrum allocations from the existing satellite surfaces, and that's why we want to make sure that our message is reflected, our point of view is, is taken care of by the regulators, and why, that's why we are present here. I am the CEO of, of one operator, but there are a few others also who are here taking care of that uh, message and make sure that we are, we are heard. Now, the, the satellite industry has, uh, has changed quite substantially. It's, it's become much more affordable over the last few years. How is that affecting ArabSat? Uh, it does affect, of course, on, on the existing uh, fleet that we have, but we are also trying to make sure that our uh, surfaces are compatible with the ground and also affordable uh, with, with the speed and uh, throughput that we provide to our uh, customers with reasonable prices. Prices are coming down for sure, and we're meeting those uh, uh, requested uh, price uh, from, the, from the market, from the customers. Uh, uh, again, people also talk about some latency in satellites, and they're not uh, quite as good as the terrestrial, but that's not true. Um, speed, throughput, uh, time, uh, or latency depends on the surfaces and the, the application that is needed for. We have some Leo satellites, we have some Geo satellites, and we have different kind of uh, services that we can offer and complement the needs of our uh, societies and our nations. I was going to say, is, is, is IMT 2020 going to put a, could put a lot of pressure on, on you, or, or are you going to be able to, to, to rise to the challenge of, uh, of um, uh, say, faster connectivity in the marketplace? 
Well, of course, we have to meet, uh, to, to meet that. Uh, the consumers look for connectivity. Uh, people in need of, con of connectivity. And we try to play our role in, in a harmonic way, in, in a very affordable and fastest way to get people connected to, to the networks. Finally, coming back to the work of ITU, I wanted to ask you about uh, the, the study groups. How important is the work of the study groups in terms of the, the resolutions, the reports and the studies uh, to the industry? Of course, the study groups are like uh, the vehicles of where the, all the technical discussion happens and we do participate as, as Arabsat in, in those study groups and in the ITU works. But at the end, all these recommendations come from different study groups to the different levels up to the final uh, regulatory bodies of, of the government, the states, and that's why the WRC is here. I mean, the whole international uh, group come here for the final decision on those recommendations that come up from the study groups. Well, we're very glad to have you here with us here in the studio. Thank you very much, Khalid, for joining us, and hopefully we'll catch up with you again at some stage in the Thank future. You. Thank you. My pleasure. Thank Thanks. you.